happy Lent. Today is March 12th, and we have Mass this evening and Stations of the Cross immediately following it. So hoping that you're able to join us for Stations of the Cross uh, tonight, if not some other time during this week. Uh, we hear uh, a rather long reading today, um, so I don't want to read the whole thing, but it keeps talking about this ever-increasing flow of water uh, out of the temple. Um, right, Water is usually signified in, as two things in the scriptures. The first is um, cleansing. Right, John the Baptist is using it to baptize. We ultimately use that to baptize everyone. Um, it's refreshing. Um, right, it, it, it gives us nourishment to keep going, and if you don't have enough water, you will die. And the second one is ultimately death. Or when we think of the Old Testament, when uh, Noah has the great flood, most of the world dies that day, right, or those 40 days. Right, so it's this water flowing out from Jerusalem, out of the temple, um, to both heal, to both um, nourish, to, to both refresh, and to kill off sin. Uh, so as we read this reading, and we contemplate our own baptism, <clears throat> my guess is most everyone watching this have, were baptized some time ago, um, Right, so I was refreshed that day. <clears throat> God tried to kill sin that day. Uh, how am I doing maintaining that? Do I have spiritual dryness right now? Right, if I don't have enough water, I'll die of, star uh, 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 of dehydration. Have I, have I, am I dehydrating the grace that God uh, wants in my heart? Right, sin dehydrates that, that ever-flowing water from within, that grace that God has given to us. Right, or am I dehydrating sin? My killing off sin. I know that we're in the midst of Lent and more than halfway through, and um, keep trying. God wants to refuel you. God bless you.